Hey, Rainbow Warrior here, and today I'm going to show you how to make these super cozy cabled leg warmers. This pattern is super simple to make, and stick around until the end where I'm going to tell you everything you need to know to alter this pattern. So I'm going to show you what you need, and let's get started. You need yarn. I'm using Red Heart Soft in the color Chocolate. And knitting needles. I'm using size 8 circular needles. You need scissors and a tapestry needle as well to sew your ends in and a stitch marker to keep your place as well as a cable maker. To begin we're going to start with a long tail method of casting on so that way our leg warmers are nice and stretchy at our ends and will be able to fit over our legs nicely. So I'm casting on 40 stitches here and I'm casting on fairly loosely so I'm not pulling super tight to our needle here. And this way our um, stitches are nice and loose and easy to work with for our first round and they'll be able to stretch around our needles and won't be too tight. So I'm casting on 40 stitches here. Alright, once you have all your stitches on you're going to join the round. I place my stitch marker and I'm using both the tail and my yarn end just to knit the first stitch. Alright, now we're going to begin a 2x2 two two ribbing. So knit two, purl two. And really this ribbing is optional. I like the look of a rib section at the top and bottom of my leg warmers, but if you wanted, you could just simply do the cable pattern for your whole leg warmer. And it will still be nice and ribbed and easy for you to get on. So I just like to mention these options because there are so many different ways that you can make these items. If you don't like the look of something, then be sure to change it. And I am doing my rib for six rounds. Okay, now that we have our rib section done, we're ready to start our pattern. And this pattern is knit eight. And the knit eight is where we're going to be making our cable. Now purl four. Knit four, and purl four. And then you're going to rep this another time for your round. For round two, we're simply repeating round one. So our knit eight, purl four, knit four, purl four. Okay, now for round three, we're going to make our cable. And we're doing this over our next eight stitches and our first four is going to be a cable four back and our last four is going to be a cable four front so let me show you how you do that grab whatever you're using i'm using a paper clip and you're simply going to insert that paper clip into the first two stitches and hold them in the back since we're doing a cable four And I'm just holding those so that they don't slide off. And then we're going to knit our next two stitches. Now knit those stitches off of your cable maker. And that was our cable four back. Now insert it into your next two stitches. Slide them off and hold them in the front this time. Knit your next two stitches. And then knit those stitches off of your cable maker. So really simple. And it gives us this really cool twist. Alright, now we're going to continue our pattern. So purl four. Knit 
knit four, and purl four. And repeat this a second time for your third round so that you're making another cable. So again, you're going to do your cable four back, cable four front. And I'll show you what that looks like one more time. All right, and rounds four, five, and six is going to be the same as rounds one and two. So here you can see what our cable is going to look like, and I'm going to rep rounds one and six for the length of my leg warmers. All right, I repeated my pattern about 14 times to get the length that I want, and here you can see our nice cable pattern. I just wanted to mention that rather than ending on a round six, I'm going to do a few more rows to end on the cable. Just a minor detail that I wanted to mention. That's the look that I'm going for. Since I started with a rib, I'm going to end with a rib as well. So my two by two rib is knit two, followed by purl two. I'm going to do this all the way around for six rounds, since that's how many I did in the beginning. All right, time to bind off, and we're going to need to do a stretchy bind off so that it will fit over our legs. So I'm going to knit two together in the back, and then when you pull those off your needle, you're going to slide it right back onto your left needle and continue this process. So now you're knitting another two together in the back and sliding it off, putting it back onto your left needle. And this gives us a nice stretchy top to our leg warmer. When you get to your last stitch, you're simply going to pull your yarn through and sew in your ends. And that's it. You're going to make a second leg warmer using the exact same process. All right, here's what they look like on, and I'm absolutely love them. I'm obsessed with them and um, just want to give you some options here of how to alter this pattern. Um, as I mentioned, you don't have to include the ribbing at the top or the bottom. I kind of wish I didn't, but now I know for next time. Um, as well, I designed these so that the cables or appear on opposite sides of the leg warmers and then we have this you know stripe in the front and the back so if you needed to alter this pattern you couldn't do it in multiples of 20 because that would just be silly so if you needed to make it any smaller what you would do is you could um, change it in multiples of four by doing one less purl stitch so doing a purl three section here that's an option and if you needed to make them bigger you would do that by adding a knit stitch on both sides of here, however many you needed to. You could adapt that in multiples of two. So for example, if you needed like 48 stitches, then you would add four knits to your pattern on each side. And if you needed to make this on straight needles, what you would do is every odd row, you would do the same as my pattern, 
However, when you do your even row, you're going to be on the opposite side of your work. So you're going to be purling the cable section and knitting the purl section. So basically just doing the opposite when you're on your wrong side. And if you need any other um, help with adjusting a pattern or you need help on how to alter something, then just let me know and I would love to help you. Um, I respond to questions on YouTube, my website, Ravelry, and Facebook. So don't hesitate to ask. My leg warmers are covered in pet hair because I've been wearing them so much, so I apologize for that. Oh, and also, I added a little owl to the top of my leg warmer. I was experimenting. I did not show that in this tutorial because he didn't come out right and you can't quite see him that well. However, if you're interested, I could show you how to make him in another tutorial, so let me know if you're interested in that. I think he would make a cute boot cuff or mug warmer. So yeah, and obviously you would just um, do shorter rounds if you wanted this pattern to be boot cuffs, which I think they would look great as. If you would like some more leg warmer patterns, you can check out any of my boot cuff tutorials, which can be easily knitted into leg warmers. So be sure to subscribe for more tutorials, and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.